All right, so this video, we're going to find the where the function's increasing and decreasing and the relative extrema. We're going to find the relative max and mins. All right, so here's our problem. Uh, find the open interval on which the function is increasing and decreasing and the relative extrema. All right, so in order to do this, first we have to find the critical numbers. All right, so if you if you don't remember how to find critical numbers, I have a video on how to do that. You can watch that one. But basically all you do is you take the first derivative, so that's 3x squared minus 3x, okay? And then you take the first derivative, set it equal to 0, so that's 3x squared minus 3x equals 0 and you solve. So I'll factor out a 3x and so I get x equal 0 or x equal 1. Okay, so these are my critical numbers. So what we do now is we set up a number line and we plot our critical numbers on the number line. All right, the zero and the one. And then what I have to do is I have to choose a number from each region here. So I'll choose x equal negative one, x equal, uh, let's say one half, and x equal two. And then what I do is I have to plug each one of these values into the derivative, okay? So I can plug them into this one, or I can plug it into the one that's already factored. It doesn't matter, they're the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it into this one because it's easier to evaluate. So if I do f prime of negative one, okay? So look at this, if I plug in negative one, that's gonna give me negative three out here, and negative one minus one is negative two. So I have a negative times a negative, which is positive. So that tells me this is greater than zero. That's all I really care about is if it's positive or negative. I don't care about what the exact value is, okay? I just wanna know if it's positive or negative. So since it's positive when I plug in the negative one, that means here from zero back to negative infinity, the function is increasing, okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing with x equal one half. So f prime of one half, okay? And, and again, I'm going to take the one-half, plug it into here. So three times one-half, that's positive. One-half minus one is negative. So a positive times a negative is negative. So this is less than zero. So in this interval from zero to one, our function is decreasing. Okay. And then I'm going to look at f prime of two. So I'm gonna take the two, plug it into here. Okay, three times two is positive. Two minus one is positive. A positive times a positive, that's positive. So that means on this interval, our function's increasing. So now we can say that it is increasing from negative infinity to zero and from one to infinity on this interval, okay? And then it is decreasing from zero to one. All right, so here's my answer for increasing and decreasing. Now I need to find my relative max and mins. 
Well, it's easy once you've found where it's increasing and decreasing. We can just go back up here to the number line and you see here how it's increasing and then at zero it starts decreasing. There's our relative max and here it's decreasing and then increasing. Here's our relative min. Okay, So we have a relative max at zero and a relative min at one. So let's look at this. So we have a relative maximum at the point x is zero and now I need to find my y value. Well to find your y value you just take this zero here and plug it back into the original function. So f of zero, if I plug zero in, zero minus zero is zero and so there's my relative max. And then I have a relative minimum at x equal 1. Okay. And then to find my y value, I take the 1 and plug it back into the function. So let's see. f of 1 would be 1 cubed minus oh, minus 3 halves times 1 squared which that's just 1 minus 3 halves and that's going to leave me with negative 1 half and so we have a relative min at negative 1 half and there's my relative extrema all right, so hopefully this video helped. I'm going to do another one with a different problem. Uh, I'm going to split these up and do one problem per video for these. And they take a little while to do. All right, so hope, hope it helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks.